Welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine, and today we continue talking about TOEFL versus IELTS. Another factor to take into consideration when choosing which exam to take is the kind of English you speak or you are familiar with, if it's an American accent or a British accent. In the case of the IELTS exam, mainly you have British accents, although they also present some other accents mainly you will hear a British accent. In TOEFL, mainly you will hear an American accent, although they also present other accents. If we talk about IELTS, we said it's British accent. So this will be important for the listening part and also for the speaking part. For the listening part, it's obviously important because everything you will hear, we have mostly a British accent. And if you are not familiar with it, it will be more challenging when you listen to the listening part. That happened to me personally. I had to train my ear to British accent before taking IELTS because I wasn't used to that accent. Uh, in the speaking part, it is also important because you are going to have an interview and the interview is probably going to be with someone who has a British accent. Not necessarily this is going to happen, but it does happen a lot. Uh, I would love you to tell me if you have uh, taken IELTS, if the listening part, in the listening part, it was important, the accent you heard, and if in the speaking part, you had an interview with someone with a British accent. Personally, again, uh, it was for me uh, more challenging to talk to someone with a British accent. Uh, in TOEFL, it's a different exam. So not only you will hear in listening uh, all the parts uh, that have an American accent, although they also present other accents. Uh, it's a, the TOEFL exam has integrated parts. So in the speaking part, you will hear a conversation and a lecture, and it will mainly probably be with an American accent. And in writing, uh, you will also have an integrated task with a lecture, and it will also have probably an American accent. So uh, consider that, which kind of English you understand better. Maybe you don't feel like you are more familiar with British or with American, then choose one. Choose one and start practicing with that kind of accent. Although it would be the best to be familiar with both of them, but maybe sometimes you can have it all. Well, in the writing part, it doesn't matter uh, which kind of English you use, as long as you stick to the English you know. Like, if you're taking IELTS, which you know, you will hear mostly British, but you are used to the American way of writing, the spelling mainly we're talking about, then you can write with American spelling. As long as you um, do all with American spelling, that would be perfect. The same uh, in TOEFL. TOEFL is mainly American, but if you are used to writing with the British spelling, uh, as long as you just use you stick to that, you use only the British spelling, there will be no problem talking about writing. Okay, and that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you soon.